and uh, this is my van Mama Olso. This is a 2001 Chevy Astro. Um, yeah, this is the inside of my van. Seven months ago, I bought this van for about a thousand. I lived in it for the summer and it was kind of like really basic. I just had like a foam bed on the floor and then um, my my front seats were folded into a kitchen. So then after the summer, I stripped everything out and um, yeah, I created this. I, um, I had a really good friend of mine who helped me with this as well. Before I met my friend, I um, stripped the whole thing out and I started with the insulation. We did take the insulation out again so then we can actually frame it. So then we put the insulation back. Um, what and did then, you do for insulation? Um, I did Reflectic, um, I did fiberglass, and I did like a spray foam in the cracks and the creases. Um, and then my flooring, um, I put subflooring at the bottom, which I'm also going to put like a, like a bracket here or just something like to cover that. But yeah, I put some subflooring as well. And then um, just some basic like wood and gray flooring here as well. And that helps with insulation immensely. So far the winter hasn't been too bad. I actually went up to Mount Washington and I camped there for the night and I just, yeah. So that was actually pretty good. It serves me well, yeah. Out of all the things, I really don't have any experience with building. Like my friend did most of the flooring, bed, walls, whatever, but I did the kitchen myself. So I was really firm on getting a live edge wood. So um, I got it from a guy. Uh, he sold it to me for like 40 bucks and I just I cut it down I sanded it and then so it's just got this like really nice like like beautiful knots here and, uh, I'm really stoked about this. This is like my Ikea kitchen <laughs> um, So yeah, I did that and I added some just extra space just because um, there's not a whole lot of space as you can see um, I did I was also really firm on this as well. I got myself a, a tiny um, hotel pan just like a four by four really tiny I've had um, so many people make fun of me for it but it it works it does the job it's like pump. then and then it just kind of drains down here so it's pretty sweet and then just a simple gas stove you know does the job um, because like it's such a tiny space and there's a lot of carbon monoxide that like you know circulates here I also installed a fan vent with um, and it's powered by my um, Goal Zero, so I have a 100 watt Goal Zero um, panel at the top, and then uh, behind it is my vent. So just gonna turn that on there. Once you open it up, it sucks the air out, so the carbon monoxide comes out and all like the hot air. I also added some some lights, some lights at the top here, and some technicolor lights as well. And then I put like this really nice um, uh, wood like design here. This is just kind of like lath wood that you get from like a fence. And I stained it and then I just kind of nailed it up here. So it kind of looks like one of those like sauna things. <laughs> I don't know, it looks like a bathhouse. I also added a toggle switch. So I've connected, I cut, well, I had my friend uh, cut the uh, cord here and then just add it to a toggle switch. So then right here on the side is just, it's super satisfying. <laughs> super satisfying. Other lighting I have as well is my Technicolor lights here um, that I've installed here along the sides with the um, control here at the top. So then it's just kind of. Yeah. It does like. It's, it's pretty great. Um, For partying. Yeah, I just wanted that extra oomph, you know, when I have like, those uh, friendly barbecues, open everything up, just put the lights on, and then, you know, music and campfire right outside. Um, speaking of music, I strapped my didgeridoo onto my, <laughs> onto my ceiling. It, it really is amazing. That something like so simple as Velcro is so magical. And then the best part about this van is like, it's just 360 all around. So. You just get the whole view. I mean, it's not very private, but I mean, the fact that you can see everything and I've had people sit back here while I drive and it's just the most amazing view. So, yeah. And then I also just recently added um, a knife magnet. I've always wanted one of these, so it's just like... <laughs> so just a really simple storage. You lift it up and uh, 
I haven't put everything in here yet, so there's potential for room. But um, yeah, just I've got my battery here, and then I've got some like small storage here and there. And my gas canisters in here, and um, the slack line and sports stuff are like right up here, as well as my gear. So I've got yeah, quite a bit of gear, and this is not all of it. So I have like an extra battery just in case I ever need it. Um, some winter tires because this is Canada. <laughs> Welcome to Canada, folks. Okay, so there's just stuff up here for it. If you lift it up, I, you can turn this into a couch. And I'm going to build that one on the other side as well. So then you can like, you know, face this way. But yeah, so a couch at like all three um, settings. So... Yeah, so um, this is some backspace here that I have that I'm just probably going to put like my longboard and maybe find some way to like add my surfboard. Um, so everything's just kind of in storage right now. Yeah, so this fits me like perfectly. There, there is maybe a, a one thing that like kind of is different. It's just like we, I had to put my bed at an angle because like this isn't really a cargo van. This is a van, even though I like to consider it a, a mini cargo van. So it's kind of like weird shapes because it was accommodating for the um, curves, the yeah. curves and the plastic and the and the bench seats or whatever. So um, so we had to like shape the bed and then cut it um, just so it can fit these angles here that we made. Um, so maybe eventually I'll cut it out, put some shelves, but it's also just considered like small wall space, you know, because it's actually great to have walls, and I do miss having walls. It's a thing. This is all window. So what initially inspired you to jump into something like this? Uh, I wanted to do this for so long since about like I was like 13 um, I just kind of wanted to like travel the world and I didn't have a way to do it um, Or at least just North America and I was gonna join the army and I was thinking about doing all these things But you know, I was just a kid so I didn't really know um, what I wanted to get into um, And then I, I've heard of van life. Well, I started off with micro houses like tiny tiny houses and then um, I wanted something bigger and more, like like more fulfilling and mobile than that, where I can just go off if I wanted to. Because I've always like had the dream of just wiping myself off the face of the earth and just go missing. And so I found van life. And uh, I was uh, I was with my partner for a year, and we bought uh, RV, so we were living that for a while with the dog. Um, and then after. We broke up and I came back to Victoria. I just like straight up bought the van because it's new. It's something that I've always wanted to do. So, yeah. Um, my dream is just kind of like I want to go to school for adventure studies. So, um, once I finish that, I'd like to just travel around Canada and teach people what they you know want to know. They want to know surfing. I can teach it to them. Rock climbing, mountaineering. You know, I can just go off and take jobs. And, um, also interested in photography as well, so it'd be really great to incorporate that in my work and my business. And uh, the freedom to have a van is just I can go off anywhere, wake up at like five in the morning and just like take a trip, uh, you know, down to Tofino or something and get some good shots. And then that's that's my stuff for the day. Like, did you find that at any point it, there was some difficulties with minimalism, or or was that something you always inspired to do? Something that I've kind of just like inspired and meant to do. I feel um, I know I have a lot of stuff here, and it's going to be reduced, but most of the stuff I have is gear for like my sports and just like my photography. Um, but actually, before all that, when I was about um, 18, I moved out of my home. I met you know two guys. It was actually a frat house that I lived in. <laughs> At the time, I was a total yuppie, so I was a business professional, and um, I didn't want the life that I was living, so I packed up all my stuff, donated it, and I became homeless for two and a half months. So I was sleeping on friends' couches and family, and then I slept in uh, my beetle for about a month, and this was sometime in the winter, so it was uh, it was tough, but it was amazing. I, I loved it, every bit of it, so yeah, I knew I needed to keep this up. Yeah. What would you say to somebody that is interested in transitioning to this sort of lifestyle? Oh man, I've had a lot of friends that, you know, ask me that just because um, this is something that like a lot of people are like really interested in doing and you just have to go for it. I mean, I made such an impulsive buy after I came back from Victoria and I don't regret it. 
Like this was, it's something that I wanted to do and I'm like, I have the money, like just get it together. Um, so yeah, you just, you just gotta do it. Don't even think about the fear. Don't even think about anything. Like sometimes you just have to kind of go for it and things will kind of come along the way. But like, even if it doesn't work out, like in the end, something always, you know, finds its place. I have never been so happy of my like of the life that I'm living right now and I'm I'm so proud of just just my accomplishments just at such a young age. So I'm only twenty two and it's just a uh, you know, it's only just started, right? So so far, um No, I can't regret anything. I I don't believe in regretting anything, so yeah. Stay tuned on my journey I guess, uh I'll be on Instagram and maybe on YouTube, but you can find me on Instagram at the hinterland image. Um, yeah, maybe I'll get myself on YouTube, so find out more later. We'll see. <laughs> we'll see if I can actually pull it off. Um, but yeah, um, that's my baby. Hey everyone, I'm Forrest. I'm the man behind the camera in the video you just saw. And for those wondering, and for those who don't know, I am still making the reality of hashtag van life movie. We're good. Are we rolling? We're rolling. Oh, hell yeah. So what's your story? How come what's you're living in a story? van? story? <laughs> um, how come I'm living in a van? I have so many reasons. Now this is a hour long movie that I plan on pitching to Netflix. And the concept of it is, I guess, you know, showing the actual reality of hashtag van life. You know, a lot of it is romanticized on Instagram and YouTube, and I'm using a little bit of investigative journalism to break that apart, but I'm also taking a very comedic approach to it and trying to make myself van life famous and seeing what that kind of entails, even though I don't even own a van. So it's, you know, a lot of goofs, a lot of jokes throughout it, and uh, hopefully make it very entertaining and purposeful. I've been doing a lot of filming for it. A lot of work has already gone into it, but the majority of the work that is going to happen is in the month of January. So if you wanna keep up to date with that, uh, there's gonna, I'm gonna update you guys on this channel a little bit, but the majority of the updates will be on my second channel, Forrest the Filmmaker. So go ahead and check that out if you wanna stay up to date. Uh, be there, be here, you know, Go to Netflix, because uh, hopefully it's going to be there. All right, see you guys later. Thanks so much for supporting me on this journey until now, and I hope to see you guys next week on another Alternative Dwelling documentary.